Most people in America are looking for how do I make my life a little simpler. Most people in America would like to have the right words to say at the right moment of time that changes their lives. Most people in America are looking for how do I win the woman I love, how do I gain the business I need, and how do I find the Holy Ghost so that I don't feel like I'm not going to heaven. And most people aren't. I hate to say it that way, and there's not a lot of charm to that. It's just the truth that people have forgotten who God is today, and people totally forget how to be outside of the, in the world without losing the Christian way. Now, I am not Christian. I will never be Christian again. So please don't play at me your Holy Ghost shit and your Bible shit because I can teach you more about it than you can. But here's the reality. People have to know how to channel the Lord. And channeling the Lord takes a really important effort by a human being. It takes the submission to the Lord Most High, the Heavenly Father and the Divine Mother. And if you can channel in difficult situations, then you might actually come out okay. But if you cannot channel in rough situations or tough situations or abusive situations, then you may not live through the day. American culture is becoming a lot more volatile. It's somewhat true and somewhat untrue. It's somewhat true that people are becoming a lot more passionate about their ideology and their mm, distinct different ways that they want to live. But at the same time, we have a lot of flipping kids coming out in their 20s that I just look at and go, oh my God, where are we going to be going as a, as a nation, as a country, and as a community? Yesterday I witnessed a situation in a shop which is becoming a lot more prevalent in the streets and in our businesses, which is a young person of a color or not that is flipping their mouth off inappropriately about their rights as consumers. Now on the one hand, it allows me to know that somebody's listening. On the other hand, it's not always delivered correctly based on what is really the context of the situation. And even in the stead of the employee or the manager who is being basically verbally accosting for doing her job correctly and making sure she's protecting the time of other people in line, she didn't know all the facts and details of the situation. And her handling of that situation might have gone a little better if she asked a few more questions instead of trying to be assertive with a young black woman who was a little bit out of line. And openly there was a problem because there was a cute little toddler who was running around in and out of the line that was a part of that family. But at the same time, people don't want to observe young people allowing their child to be. So there's that juxtaposition going on and people understanding all the sides and all the feelings. But sometimes even those of us bystanders in the line don't know all the details of what's happening at the register. So I guess what I'm talking about is just a simple, humble example of how we have to really be paying attention to what is and isn't our business, what is and isn't our job, and what does a company and what does not a company want their employee to do on the job. One of the hardest parts probably about being a retail employee, especially of a shop that delivers such quality products and good vendors, is the reality that those vendors deserve to have the money that they need for paying for the product that they literally loan to a company. 